So a follow up on that, maybe uh, regarding uh, laying aside every sin that so easily besets us. Of course, our minds being carnal and we've come from such a sin based consciousness, sin has used to be the center of our universe. It used to be the determiner of our identity. So when we read phrases like that, lay aside every sin, we tend to think of it as the carnality, the evil, the black, dark sin, whatever. But wonder if it's something like this. There are several times that God says, um, your evil or wicked hearts of unbelief. unbelief. Yes. And how about in Hebrews? He says, uh, uh, neither shall heaven be inherited or entered by the cowardly or those who draw back. And like, God puts a pretty big, pretty big hand or thumb on on these things that we would kind of diminish in importance. And so I'd love it, Joe. You're kind of unpacking these things, and uh, the Lord has given us revelation. He's like, guys, don't draw back in un- unbelief. This guy makes a point about that, Joe. Uh, He says, it's amazing when you look through Scripture, God didn't look on major sins, as we call them major, to be the disqualifying factor for his favor. He looked at whether or not they turned to other gods or turned their back on him. They chose other gods or, and you know, back to our word we used a while ago, unbelief, like, no, God, no, no, I'm not going that way with you. That's too much or that's, you know, whatever. That was his disqualifying threshold of how he made determination many times through Scripture. You know, as you pointed out, uh, several Jacob, how about David? Oh, my gosh, you know, blatant. And uh, Samson, my gosh, and he got himself listed in Hebrews 11. You know, it's just... (laughs) 